how's it going? I'm Frankie Cavone of Mirth Films, and today we're going to be taking a look at the DJI Pocket 2 and why it is the best video camera at its price point in 2023. Let's go take a look. Coming in at $349, this is definitely the best camera you can get for the money if you are focused on video. Vlogging, shooting extra footage, this can do it all and it can fit right in your pocket. The DJI Pocket 2 weighs about 117 grams. It has a 1 in 1 7th inch sensor that is a 64 megapixel readout. It also has a base focal length of 20 millimeters and 20 millimeters is great for vlogging, hence why this camera is a viable option for vlogging. It shoots up to 4K 60 frames per second, takes micro SD cards, and has a USB-C plug-in for charging, or if you are using a device like a microphone that comes in the Creators Combo Kit, um, this is something that you would use that USB-C port for. And the battery lasts roughly 140 minutes, and that's really good. 140 minutes, a little over two hours with this little camera. I mean, I can't imagine the battery being that big either. The DJI Pocket 2 is also jam-packed with many different modes including video and photo mode. It is a time-lapse mode, hyperlapse mode, motion lapse, HDR, slow-mo, and panoramic mode. There is a lot to talk about when it comes to the DJI Pocket 2, but we're gonna focus on its video specs because that's really what it's meant for. Yes, this can take photos, but it's not really meant for that. I would rather use my iPhone over this to take a photo, even though it does have a 64 megapixel readout. Before we go into the video specs, I do wanna show you guys some B-roll that I was able to capture with the DJI Pocket 2. Going over the video specs, this does shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second, so you can slow down that 4K footage. It also shoots 1080 up to 60 and 2.7K up to 60 frames per second. But if you're looking to slow down that footage, this camera can slow down up to 240 frames per second in HD mode. Also, this does have DJI's D-Cine-like color profile, which you can use if you're trying to get more of a better color grade. Um, but I don't find it the best, especially because this isn't shooting 10-bit video. And if you don't know what 10-bit video is and you're a beginner, don't even worry about it. But basically, it just allows for a little more flexibility in, in color correction. What really made me fall in love with the Pocket Series from DJI was the fact that it didn't have the widest field of view. Something that GoPros have and I don't like. I think GoPros are used for specific things, but if you are walking around, do you always want a fisheye look? Well, with this, you can achieve something different, and that's what I really like about it. So when I'm shooting B-roll, even if I'm in a small club and I don't want to use my biggest camera um, and there's no really need for it, this can get the B-roll I need to achieve what I'm trying to capture for my clients. And yeah, I said for my clients, that means that yes, I would use this on a professional shoot because it does the things that I needed to do to give my video the professional look it needs. I didn't get the creator's combo because I already have the microphones, I already have all the adapters that I need for other things to help get my job done. So all I really wanted this for was to be able to capture simple B-roll and take it on the road with me. So I got the base model. It comes with a small sliding case where you can just slide in the DJI Pocket 2 right into it. And again, you could fit this right into your pocket. Yeah, you might have a little bulge in your pocket, but whatever, this is still going to to be a lot lighter than carrying around a DSLR or mirrorless camera. The cool thing about this camera is that you can customize them in some ways and it's really just with this slide in slide out feature that it has right here where it allows different pieces to do different things. Uh, this right here, this little piece that I just slid into the DJI Pocket 2 allows me to switch where my camera is going to be, allows me to zoom in, allows me to move the camera left to right all from the back of the camera which means I don't have to use my hands to move it if I don't want to. To boot the camera up, all you have to do is hit the side button and the camera will turn right on. It takes about a second to use, but it is very nifty and you can see the motorized gimbal doing its work. It, it, it's very smooth, I gotta say. And uh, I do use a DJI Ronin S for a lot of my professional high-end gimbal work. And while this is not gonna provide the same quality, there isn't going to be a device that allows you to get what you need 
that replicates that at this price point. Yeah, you can get the phone gimbals, they're great and all, but even phone image quality isn't the best. The screen on the DJI Pocket 2 does have a touchscreen and it does have a menu interface that is pretty simple and I really like it. And the touchscreen is very nice. I don't feel myself having to add a lot of pressure when I'm touching. Now let's say, hey Frank, this screen is way too small for me to use. I cannot visibly read what's on here and I, uh, I don't know what I'm getting. And for that reason, I don't know if I can consider something like this. Well, DJI does have the Mimo app, which is available on iPhone, Android, and you can download that app. And because of this little uh, slide in, slide out feature that it does have, where you can add different little pieces and adapters, um, I can slide in my iPhone uh, lightning bolt uh, connector, put it right in here, and then plug it right into the side of my phone. And now I can use my phone as the screen to be able to look and view at what I'm shooting. Again, I can use all the same features that were in the touchscreen on the actual camera on my phone. And I actually really prefer it that way, especially because if you do have the phone plugged into the camera, you can now hold the phone, taking less pressure and weight off the gimbal, only creating for more stable footage. Now it's time to just go over some pros and cons with the DJI Pocket 2. And the first pro that I have to talk about is for the vloggers. This is a great vloggers camera. Again, if I do turn this camera right around, um, I can use it as a vlogging camera and it is 20 millimeters. So 20 millimeters is really good actually and that's where the creators combo is very important to get again if you're a vlogger because it does come with that microphone so you're able to plug in the microphone it's a lavalier mic so you're going to get crystal clear audio and um, something that you're not going to be able to achieve if you just use the mic that's built in with this and i'm going to show you right now with one of my vlogging tests so i'm here in the middle of the woods right now and uh, i'm just doing this test so that way can see how stable this camera is. How does this sound? Let me know. I uh, it's my first time using this in a vlogging sense, and uh, which I won't be doing much because again, this is a B-roll king, not a vlogging king. The biggest selling point with this camera, again, is the stabilization. The stabilization with this camera is incredible for walking and talking. If you're trying to do like a movement where you're going into out and you want to hold that camera and follow somebody, I think that this camera can do the job. Something I also really like about this camera is it does have pro exposure features built in and I don't consider them pro, they're just exposure features. Um, a lot of cameras this size and uh, at this price point, you can't really control the look of your image sometimes. And if you're in a situation where you're going from light to dark very fast, this footage could look a little shitty. The last pro I need to talk about when it comes to using the DJI Pocket 2, again, is that this is a B-roll king. You can achieve great quality B-roll with this camera, uh, depending what situation you're in. Especially, let's say you're doing something where you've got to interview somebody, and then you have to collect B-roll to be able to put over that interview. Well, you only have one camera, that camera's on your tripod, and you're already doing the interview, and you don't want to break apart any of your gear. All you have to do is take this camera out, and then with some simple color correction in post, match that footage with your mirrorless camera or whatever camera you're using, and uh, it's just gonna create an all around great package. Another pro that I have to bring up is that this does digitally zoom, so you don't have a fixed focal length when using this like the original Pocket or like the Action or the GoPro. So you're gonna have some flexibility and let's say you can't move any closer but you need to zoom in, now you have that option. Obviously a $349 camera is not gonna do everything you need and there are gonna be downsides. And first off, this camera is not the best in low light. Yes, I have shot this in low light situations but you're gonna get better results elsewhere. Another negative talking point that I have to bring up is that this camera is quite fragile. And I say that because it's not built like a tank, like a Osmo Action or like a GoPro Hero 11. This camera, um, the head feels very loose. And if you did not keep this in a case, I promise you that this will break eventually. Um, so definitely make use of the case that they give you. Keep it stored safely because you want to preserve this as long as you can. And lastly, this camera has horrible dynamic range. And it seems like a new thing for DJI because I also see the same thing in the DJI Osmo Action 3. The highlights are so high and they clip a lot of the time. So to be able to drop down your highlights in a bright and sunny day and still retain that color and quality with what you have in your foreground, it's going to be nearly impossible. So again, make use of those pro exposure features right within the DJI Pocket 2 because that's what's going to help you to be able to get the image that you're looking for.
So I brought up ways that you can use this in a professional situation. I brought up ways that this would be great for a beginner, but really who is this camera for at the end of the day? Yeah, it is for beginners. This camera is something that if I had when I first started shooting video, I would be so happy because Back in the day, I would go skateboarding along with my friends and uh, not everything I wanted to get was a fisheye look. And at that time, you know, all you have is, you know, a couple hundred bucks, what do you get? You get a GoPro. So for a beginner, you know, you don't want something that's gonna be overbearing and, and confuse you and because that's gonna affect your confidence in the way you shoot and you're gonna be thinking about stuff like that the whole time. So because this is pretty much an automatic camera um, with some, you know, with some flexibility, with some manual settings, you are basically uh, ready to shoot right out of the box when you buy this camera. Now, is the DJI Pocket 2 worth buying if you already have the latest high-end phone? Well, I guess it really depends on what you're using it for. If you are gonna be doing video heavily, I can honestly say definitely get the Pocket 2 because not only for the video quality, um, your workflow is gonna be a lot more simpler. Um, I know for me, it's such a pain getting files off of my iPhone and onto my computer. Um, and a lot of the times I have to use an app like Dropbox to be able to download and upload, which is annoying. It's a bottleneck. And um, and if you need that video on the fly, you're not editing within the phone. Um, I, I, I have to recommend this because iPhone and Android phones are great in 2023, but I think a dedicated device will help push you to go and shoot more and not be locked to what you're using with your phone. If you have any questions about the DJI Pocket 2 or even love the DJI Pocket 2 and just wanna share your experience, please add that in the comments section down below. I'm Frank Cavona, Mirth Films, and thank you for watching this video.